Can you believe it, lads? Hold on, this mic's gone. Our first win ever at Old Trafford in the Premier League. And you know what? I should be jubilant right now, but we fucking deserve that. We deserved it. We absolutely battered Man United today. And I'd have been so annoyed if we didn't get three points. What a goal by Matinho as well. It, it was just such a deserved win. I know Bruno Fernandes smashed one off the bar on a, when he just after he came on, but such a deserved win. Slay Wolves, man. I don't know what you're on about. Let's go back to the beginning, though. The starting lineup from Wolves. We've had our problems with COVID-19, with injuries, with African Cup of Nations and things like that. But the team I was really happy with. The only one I was disappointed with, I thought Adama Traore should have started over Trincao, but he didn't. I thought Trincao did okay, although very frustrating at times. But let's just start off with how we started. Absolutely dominated possession. Had more shots on and off target. Had tons more corners than Man United up until the 60th minute. We just couldn't score. We was creating a lot of chances. Nelson Semedo down the right was causing them absolute hell, making brilliant runs. Neves and Matinho midfield running the midfield. Man United look a very, very bang average poor side, in my opinion. And the only thing that was missing was a scoring. And it's the story of that bloody season, isn't it? Like, how many times have we done this? When we lost 1 0 to Man United at Old Trafford, we battered them and lost 1 0. And I feared that was going to happen today. I was texting one of my mates who's a Man United fan. He come to the, uh, he was at Molyneux for the Wolves Man U game. I said, mate, this is a carbon copy. You're going to beat us second half. We're going to eventually sit back, try and hold on for the draw, and we're going to end up conceding. And I'm so glad it didn't happen. It took a while. It took until the 80th minute. And before Bruno Fernandes come on, I know um, Sky made a big deal out of uh, Mason Greenwood going off. But I think um, him coming off and Bruno Fernandes coming off and Man United changed it slightly. And obviously when he hit the bar and they started creating a few chances. But God, did we deserve that. Still major concerns from our point of view, though. Like I thought Raul was a bit off it. We couldn't really score, obviously. Pedence played really well. He, he had a few attempts but couldn't score. Trincao never looks like scoring. I thought Marcel was brilliant down in the left wing back position. And again, the defence, in the times they had to be solid, they were. Now let's talk about the goal. Adama Traore crosses it in, it eventually comes back to Matinho and a great finish. And Matinho loves scoring in that end at Old Trafford, doesn't he? If you remember back, I went to the game when he put one top corner against them and we drew 1-1 a few years ago. So absolute jubilation for Wolves and a deserved win after that really depressing uh, article that came out from John Percy for the Telegraph earlier on about Wolves bringing back loans, not being able to spend. I know a lot of Wolves fans are focusing out and things like that. So I'm glad we won today to up the spirits of the Wolves fans. And we deserved it. I think that takes us a couple of points behind Man United. And we deserve it. It's, it's as simple as that. It's frustrating because we know as a team, two or three more good players, we could push towards Europe. It's not a joke. Our solid starting eleven is good. I mean, our defence is fantastic. We just need to add more goals. We need more competition for Raul. But today, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And another thing, fair play... Fair play to Bruno Lars for bringing on Traore quite early because it's very rarely he'll make an early substitution. And he did. And then he brought Fabio Silva on. And talking of Fabio Silva, I thought he did okay when he came on. But when he gave that foul away right at the end and they got Bruno Fernandes and Ronaldo stood over the ball in the 94th minute, my heart was in my bloody mouth. But guess who stepped up? Jose Sarr, that's who. What a goalkeeper that bloke is. He's been absolutely incredible for, this, for us this season. And he pulls off yet another fantastic save. We deserved the win. I'm so happy we got the goal because if it had been nil-nil again, I'd have been absolutely gutted. We had heartbreak against Liverpool. We had a controversial loss against Man City. Obviously got the deserved point against Chelsea, but it was about time we got a win against the so-called big boys in Man United. who spent God knows how much money the last few years on their superstars, and we deserved it. Our first ever win away at Old Trafford, and I'm bloody buzzing. Rub it in to all your mates who live around the Midlands or who all support Man United because they were good as we were growing up as kids. Just rub it in. That's what you got to do. Absolutely incredible. I'm so happy. But at the same time, we deserved it. Do you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't like a shock win, is it? Going into today's game, you knew if we played well, we could get something. And we've got the win. We have got the win. I think we were 9-2 to two to win today's game. Jean Moutinho. Who's man of the match? I'm going to give it Matinho just for scoring. I know Sky give it per dense, but Matinho and Neves, a midfielder, are incredible. And Neves is shot, by the way. I know I'm rambling on now. Neves is shot first half. That would have been a wonder strike. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling on. Comment down below who you thought was man of the match. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Wolves have beat Man United at Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams, in the first time since I was probably a bubble in my dad's bollocks. Let's sign it off with that. See you in a bit, everyone.